Hey everybody, it's Jeremy J here at you with another video. And my friend the ghost. <laughs> Trying not to laugh, sorry. It is good to be with you all in this video to talk about our next topic. Why are twin flames so sexual? And I have an answer. Caroline Alonzo Santos and a couple others have asked about this. So I'm gonna share my own opinion on it. As uh, always do your own research, study, come to your own conclusion about what you think. That's a large part of life is taking things and putting your own perspective in them. Yeah, I've been blinking a lot, so yes, I'm gonna be blinking a lot. I'm not sure what's causing it, part of what I'm going through, so, but I recognize it, and hello kitty. So my answer to this, first before I answer this, uh, well actually I'll answer it first and then I'll give you an update at the end of this video. Hi Dido, every video. Kitties has come. So first of all, I think anyone in a twin <coughs> flame situation is intense. You have the ability to feel deeply, experience deeply. Our minds are very expansive, very creative. We overthink. I know I overthink. We get really deep with things and the expansiveness of our minds and our ability to feel causes us to not only be able to feel a high level of emotions, but the high level of physical and the five senses stimulation as well. And so sex for us in a twin flame situation is supercharged. We experience all aspects of it. We want all aspects of it. As a man, I can speak from a man's point of view who is more driven by the physical sensations, but also the others as well, connectedness and whatnot. But the physical sensation part of it is very intense for me and very desired. I, like I wish I was having more of it, not to get too personal with you right now, but it'll be nice to end the dry spell whenever that day comes. <laughs> And, uh, but it's, a, it's just a intense, big experience. And for the females, I know the connection part is a big time intense experience. And there can be a clash sometimes between the male's desire for feeling the physical sensations and the female's desire to experience the emotional connectedness, sense, connectedness to it. And it can cause a clash and a little bit of friction between the two, but if both can focus on giving the other what they want, the man can focus on giving the woman the connection, the woman focus on giving her man the most physical, pleasurable thing ever. I think both parties get what they want and are happier, but it takes some stepping outside of your own thoughts and giving, just giving, which is part of this learning process is to learn to give yet keep high standards, but also learn to give at the same time. And so in short, we are very sexual because we feel so much. Our minds are expansive, especially when we are awakening. We are more conscious and aware and that consciousness and awareness draws the feelings throughout our body more and more than just the average person. And so man, it's intense for us. So that's my answer. What's your guys' answer, gals, guys and gals? What do you think? I've shared what I have to share. I'm interested in hearing what you think. Why are twin flames so sexual? And last, lastly, I'll end off. I got the results of my endoscopy procedure that shows that I have gastritis in, in my stomach and inflammation of my small intestine. It looks like I have something called, let me pull it up. I've got the actual medical term. 
Um, Disacaritis. Deficiency. That's a mouthful. Uh, more than likely, it's lactose intolerance, but there's other intolerance, food intolerances as well. I sort of suspected some kind of food intolerance, so I'm going to start by cutting out all milk, dairy, eggs, soy for a month, maybe two months, and just see how I feel, see how my body feels. Am I less bloated? Am I less nauseous? Am I feeling better? And if not, then I will cut out more. And there's other food categories that I have. They are, what are some of the other food categories? It was really interesting. I'm not going to go into like try and do a health thing here, but there's maltose, sucrose, and another one. And I'm researching all the different kinds of foods that have these things. And it's very interesting. So now I'm very attentive to food labels when I go shopping. I'm very attentive to what's going in my body. So all these things are happening and causing me to be more aware and attentive. Whereas before I was just very blind. Ooh, let me just buy all these boxes and bags and cans of shit and just gobble, gobble, gobble like a turkey or a chicken or I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyways, so that's my report on how things are going for me. Um, I'm feeling decent though, not too bad. I'm on a major five-day portion of my cleanse where I'm sticking to mostly lemon, pure lemon, pure maple syrup, and filtered water, um, as well as a little bit of my nutrition shake each day. And uh, the cleanse is intense, but I think it's working. And I'm, in, I'm thankful for all of you. I will ponder before I go to bed tonight your additional comments and what else I may do videos at. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.